Dr. Mohamed Awais is working at a hospital in Ireland's capital, Dublin. He's come from Pakistan as part of an innovative scheme to give foreign doctors specialist training. As per my contract, I have to go to back home uh, after completing two years of training and get my fellowship degree and try to implement good things, positive things, positive attitudes over there in Pakistan. We know that internationally we are particularly dependent on foreign trained doctors and nurses um, to carry out tasks in, in the delivery of our health service uh, in a way that's very skewed compared to the rest of the world. Uh, we know that within the OECD, I think we're the um, country with the second highest dependency for overseas trained doctors and the highest dependency for overseas trained nurses. WHO's global code of practice on the international recruitment of health personnel is a comprehensive framework looking at how to improve health systems and the role of healthcare workers. Ireland devised the scheme as part of its plans to implement the WHO global code. Migration of skilled health workers is on the rise. Recent OECD data shows that there's been a 60% increase in the number of foreign-born doctors and nurses practising in OECD countries over the last 10 years. The demand for healthcare workers in every country of the world is rising phenomenally. We anticipate that with the ageing populations, with the emergence of non-communicable disease, that there will be a requirement for increase in the quantity, quality and relevance of the health workforce. The WHO Global Code, adopted in 2010, aims to advance ethical international recruitment. And key to this is better health workforce data. Latest reporting by member states in 2015 shows an increase of around 34% in countries establishing national authorities to monitor its implementation. However, the figures also show a decline in some countries actively reporting. Much more work needs to be done. In May 2014, Member States requested the Director General of the WHO to develop and submit a global strategy on human resources for health. In that strategy, we reaffirm and recommit to the principles and articles of the WHO Global Code of Practice. It's really important that countries adopt the code actively and that may mean that different countries develop different policies by which they, as individual countries, enact the code. I think the important thing is that there is an active approach taken at a policy level, at government level, innovative approaches which can ultimately be shared then by other countries. Ireland is one of five countries taking part in the EU-funded Brain Drain to Brain Gain project, which is focused on strengthening the evidence base on health professional migration. Other countries include South Africa, Nigeria, Uganda and India. The southern Indian state of Kerala is well known for training nurses for export and the local economy has prospered from remittances. However, communities have felt the loss of skilled staff. So they are going abroad for a dinner posture because where they are able to get there. Uh, and uh, I think there are instances in some of the districts, each house is having one nurse who is working abroad. In India, there has been achievement in terms of increasing the training for medical graduates to increase the number of doctors, nurses. I think uh, a further step, uh, initial efforts have already done to be sure that all the needed doctors and nurses are where they are needed, especially in rural areas. The designated national authority would help also monitoring of the code. Each country should maintain an ongoing health workforce information system, which enables the country to monitor on an ongoing basis who has joined training, who has left training because of retirement, who has joined service, which part of the service are they, and what are their plans to stay or leave the service. And in that way, it will then be possible to make five yearly plans in terms of getting the right people in the right places all the time. The code is critical to achieving universal health coverage. The Brain Drain to Brain Gain project is supporting countries to implement the code. 
helping countries better understand and address patterns of migration that are increasing and growing more complex. Its lessons are likely to be of relevance across countries and regions.